Welcome back to QB Film Room. We're taking a look at Logan Woodside of the Tennessee Titans. He's, you know, he's technically he's in his second year. He played in the AAF, came out of Toledo. I had Woodside pegged as my number, you know, four to six QB, possibly even ahead of Mayfield, you know, entering the 2018 draft. Now, a host of issues off the field. Now, now. Logan had a DWI shortly after the draft, after he was selected by the Bengals, and he's had to battle the stigma of, you know, off-field slash character issues. Now, on the field as a passer, he's reminiscent of Drew Brees, and we're going to go through just some of his tape against the Bears from last night to see, you know, what he showed on tape. We're going to bypass quarter number one because it was largely... Uh, you know, nondescript, uneventful. Here we go. Woodside, second quarter, Chicago. Looking down the field, pressure, intuitively moves, hits his guy to the outside. Third and short for Tennessee. <clears throat> After the penalty, of course. But yeah, so Woodside's a guy six foot tall, you know, about 205 pounds, Drew Brees like mechanics. And when I say mechanics, I you know I, I'm referring to the feet. I'm referring to the release, some of the mental processing skills. Now, you know, in terms of so I'm not saying he reminds me of Breeze just a little bit. Let's flash forward and get another Woodside drive here, shortly. But Woodside played in the AAF for the San Antonio Commanders. Early 2019, arguably was a top, you know, three, possibly even top two quarterback in the AAF this year. Showed grit, showed toughness, showed the ability to make tight window anticipation throws down the field. And right here, first and ten, we're seeing Woodside. 21 personnel, play action type throw. Now, arm strength is not elite, but feet are, releases, touch, trajectory, anticipation, 40-yard pickup down the field, setting the Titans up in the red zone. So here we go, Woodside again. Quick play fake, token fake, over the middle, balls out of his hand. Now, if we want to go there in terms of a natural throw of the football, on this Tennessee Titan roster 2019, you can make the argument and say he's more natural than both Marcus Mariota and Ryan Tannehill in terms of just throwing the football. That's all I'm saying, just throwing the football. And what ends up happening is there's a lot of discrepancy in terms of you know how much importance you place on just that facet throwing the football. But when you think about it, plays last two seconds, that's ultimately what quarterbacking is, throwing the football. Right there, hitting the running back in the flat, immediately, you know, with precision for a touchdown to get the Titans on the board. So now, we're, we're going to fast forward to the second half of action here and see what we can see from Woodside. Now, meanwhile, Tyler Bray, in his own right, played a pretty darn good game for Chicago. Third quarterback behind Chase Daniel, but Bray's, you know, fifth or sixth year developmental guy. Extended leash here in the in the National Football League, played at Tennessee. Showing some good things, but we're here to see Woodside for this particular film review. And now my video might be rather slow here, so so please just bear with me. We're gonna get to some good Woodside stuff here later on. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me during this video. Logan Woodside's a guy who I, who I was really high on coming into the 2018 draft, higher on than most other draft analysts. And the reasons for that was because of the tape, obviously, that he produced at Toledo, because of the natural feat, the release, the touch, the uh, you know anticipation skills, great anticipation throw with the football. Right there, getting the ball out quickly to the flat route. More gun for Woodside. This is an elite throw against quarters coverage. Let's rewind it back. Huge throw here. So I really want you to watch this. 
you know, four safeties across the board, throwing a guy open against zone under coverage. 38 there can't get there. And the reason 38 can't get there is because of the quick three and the ball's out to the correct spot. That's a great throw for Woodside. There we go, Woodside again. Now right here, not accurate on second and one. And they don't convert on the on the third down. So this is an issue for him. Not accurate right there. Now he's trying to put it on him quickly, but that's just an inaccurate throw. Third and one now. More in the gun for Woodside ends up taking a sack. Now nobody was open on this play, but that just goes back to the second and short where you gotta be accurate to convert the set of downs. So we're gonna move on to you know half number two for Woodside here. Six foot. 200 and plus pounds, University of Toledo, a lot of experience in terms of being a starting quarterback at Toledo. Last year was actually with the Bengals, a little bit for the preseason, had that issue with the DUI after he got drafted, was with the Titans for a short time in 2018 on their practice squad in September, and then he was released. So he was out of football October through December of 2018, ends up signing with the San Antonio Commanders of the AAF, Head coach Mike Riley really liked the kid, starts him, had a great AAF campaign from January through March. Now he's with the Titans of 2019, trying to earn a 53-man roster spot. First and 10 action fake, a little bit inaccurate there. Correct read, a little bit off on that throw. Now, if we can rewind it back and see exactly what was going on, now he's got to hit that throw. Now, he doesn't. Arguably a catchable ball, but not ideal placement. Hitting his screen here. First and 15. Now they got second and short. Let's see what happens. Woodside, under center, counter, up to zero gap, rather. It's not a counter, that's a ISO. <clears throat> under center again for Logan. Play action. Ability to get his eyes around quickly, but then, you know, at you know at times he will frazzle or get frazzled, become frazzled under pressure. Second and ten, they run the play. Bears think they're throwing it. First and ten for Logan. Again, they're running it. Stick with the run game, right? It's working for you. <clears throat> Again. Now that's a passing opportunity down there. Now they got third and four. They're going to go gun. Penalty. The penalty puts him back to third and long. And this is a Drew Brees type throw. Your third and long, bunch trips, top of the screen. Switch vertical concept, throwing with anticipation over the second level. Now, that's an elite throw. Later in the contest, he's going to make a similar throw with a little bit more difficulty attached to it. But he definitely shows the ability to make those intermediate level NFL type throws, you know, in quick order with elite feet, touch, timing, anticipation, those types of things. Here he takes a shot to the end zone, just a little bit too far. We'll get into that now. And then after this play, we're going to the final drive. You know, has to get it out quick. <clears throat> so let's see if we can find this final drive where he's making, you know, elite stick throws here. It's coming up right now. Tennessee is down. 15 to 12 with four minutes left in the ball game. Woodside gets an opportunity. Here we go, first and 10. Running the football. Great hole to run through. The lane's there. First and 10 again, midfield. Running again. He actually audible to this run to put them in this position. So that's a heady play by Logan there to audible. They're away from the blitzing safety. Running it again. Stuffed. Two minutes left in the game. Roughly. <clears throat> I 
another penalty he takes. So, you know, that may be an issue right here taking his outlet route. We've got a, um, you know, first and 30. You know, we, we just need some sort of completion throwing over the lineman, though. Ability to, you know, throw it over the lineman at six foot tall. Second and 22. Quick three, throwing, um, you know, on time to his tight end there on the quick out. Third down. This is the throw I'm talking about from earlier. Elite throw. Bunch trips again. Sturdy in the pocket. Timing and anticipation. Hanging in there. Willingness to pull the trigger. And then also the ability to be accurate. And throw with touch. Firm with an arc. As Trent Dilfer always says. That's an elite throw. Right here. Hits his back on the on the quick swing. Under coverage drops to zone. Smart decision. Then right here, we're going to see him take his running back for a quick six. Not on this play, but the next play. This play throws it away back of the end zone. Live the play another down. Right here, running back to the top of the screen is wide open. Quarters coverage. He's open now. He gets it to him. Logan Woodside, mixed bag, more good than bad and showed some elite promise in the fourth preseason game here in terms of natural accuracy, willingness to let it loose, and just a great feel at times for throwing the football. 